Hello and welcome back to Quilts by Carmel. I am Joe Carmel and I am on the fifth and final episode of Black Quilty Love. We're taking Valentine's Day and Black History Month and making Black Love. Today is February 28th, the last day of the month. <laughs> So this week we are starring Yvonne. She is a designer with Free Spirit and I looked to find her name and she actually goes by Yvonne. They call her E. So that was pretty interesting to me. Um, let me just tell you a little something about her. No, let me introduce her to you first. Um, she is not, um, so she's not a quilter. But she is an artist, a designer. So there she is. That's E. Yvonne Free Spirit. And she has, uh, I'm using cliffs right behind me. But she also has a new um, line coming out called Root. And it's pretty interesting. So I will link these two below just so that you can kind of get to, to understand her aesthetic and where she's coming from. So, let me tell you my progress. Um, I have made all of these giant churned ashes, but they looked a little boring to me, just churned ashes. I thought I would sash them or something. But what I decided to do is, so these are 16 and a half, and I decided to do two eight and a halves um, next to it. So, I'm not done yet, as you can see, but I think it's going to be a pretty cute um, quilt. So, each block will be, let's see if I can do this one, it'll be 24 and a half by 18 and a half unfinished. And then the whole quilt will be uh, 72 inches square because I am doing one, two, three blocks by four rows. So it's going to turn out to be 72 inches square. Um, I'll come back in March and just kind of show the quilts that I finished in the month of February. I think that will work so you can see them all together. Um, this one's not finished yet, but I'm working on it and I think it will be fantastic. Let me just show you something else I learned of, um, in regards to Ebond and these fabrics. I'm going to grab them. So she, um, each of the, the fabrics pattern, she named them after African American writers and poets. So I just want to show you, it's even on the, um, on the salvage. So this one's Maya, and I, I'm pretty sure that's Maya Angelo. Do you see Maya all the way at the end down here? So there's Maya. Then there is, this is Lucille. So she's got these fabulous um, patterns named after uh, African American uh, poets and writers. I, I just thought it was really cool. Nella. Let me see if I can give you another one. This one's Jessie. So I just thought that was really cool and I um, is excited to learn that about her. She is a bookmaker, printmaker, fabric designer, commercial artist, and glyphs. This was her first time doing fabric design and then Root is going to be her second one. Let me just show you Root real quick. It looks fabulous and I plan on making something with it. I'm not sure what, but... It's fabulous, so I can't wait to get that. And it is in stores now. I double check. I know Hancock's Paducah. That's where I got the majority of this fabric as well. Um, what else can I tell you about her? Oh, she goes on. I'm going to link it below, but she goes on to explain her um, inspiration in regards to root and not root for glyphs. And it's almost like it's pre-language so it's more symbol so I thought that was really interesting she's really deep and I didn't know that so that's pretty cool and I just want to show you a couple other patterns I think I showed you this one is plus or minus this is the one I was going to try to make and it's um 
the pattern makers quilty love um, so I was gonna try to make that one and I still have quite a bit of fabric left so I may still be able to make this one which is exciting but quilt addicts anonymous also has a pattern called subway and I just blew it up but it looks super fun I think this would the roots would fabric would look great with it too so I may do that so I think that's about it with her. I'm sorry that I didn't get the quilt um, completed, but I've had so much fun. And I'm so thankful that I've been held accountable for what I said I would do. So I love that. As far as my scrappy Irish chain, I haven't, I've done some. I've, I've made some more blocks. Let me see if I can grab them really quickly. Where did I put them? But I made some more of these. So I have enough to make about four of these blocks. So I, uh, I'm, I'm behind on this, but I will work on it. And hopefully I should get it done in the month of March. Um, what else did I want to tell you? So the scrappy Irish chain. Oh, my African um flags of africa quilt let me show you where i'm at okay i move some stuff around so i am making it it's kind of a test quilt so i'm making it with kona but i think it would look great in um speckled by rashida coleman hale or um grunge or batiks I think I will try boutiques. So this is kind of my test um, quilt. I'll call it test quilt. I'm gonna show you my inspiration as well. So I've got all the different flags of Africa. I'm not making all of them, but I have made some of them. And let me see if I can, um, I don't right now, I haven't put, like applique anything on them. I just have the blocks, okay? So this one, oh, I can't say it. The bougie. <laughs> so that's one block. And this one is Botswana. And all the blocks are either gonna be nine and a half by 12 and a half or 12 and a half by nine and a half. This one is Angola, but it needs a symbol on it. Uh, this one is, where is it? Ethiopia. Also needs a symbol on it. Uh, the red, white, and blue. Where's this one? I don't remember this one. I'm going to look for it. Oh, it's re reunion, but I think it's, it's a French word. There we go. And then this one is Malawi, which reminds me of Woman King and, and Nawi. <laughs> and this one is Mali. And I got more, I got more. Let's see. Oh, Ghana, but I'm missing the star in the middle. This one is actually very perfect. It's Chad. This is exactly how it looks. <laughs> oh, this one. Hmm. I'm not sure. I don't see it. I'll have to look it up. <laughs> this one's Gabon. Oh, it goes actually goes this way so I've got quite a few of the blocks done and my plan is to make a rectangular quilt and then put the shape of Africa around it so um, it may take me a little longer than I thought but it's really fun it's really fun and exciting kind of to make your own um, quilt design and I, I'm enjoying it and of course I starched everything with this so uh, I think that's why the fabrics look so great. And I just went to a website. Let me see if I can find a website. Oh, I do. I have it on here. 
to 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 find and locate the um, different flags. It's called nationalonline.org. And all I did was enter in African uh, country flags or something like that, or African flags of Africa, something like that I, I entered in. So I'm excited about that and I'm excited that I'm making progress. I got a little tote for it now too, which I'm very happy about. <laughs> My Harry Potter, I have not had time to do that. And I still need to work on my um, boho heart. So that's coming in the next month. And then there's one more. Oh, letters to Jesus. That's going to be my main focus for the month of March. So I can get that quilt done before Easter. So I'm super excited. And I thank you all. I thank you all for riding along with me. And uh just keeping me company as I um, experiment. I'm having so much fun and I'm so very thankful for you guys. Uh, I do want to let you know in March, I, um, am, I've am i reached 888 subscribers. So I'm going to give away eight pre-cuts in the, in the month of March, 2023. So I will put out a little short video about it and show you the layer cakes and jelly rolls and charm pack and fat quarter and panel I'm, I'm gonna give. I have a little song I have in mind. I don't know if you want me to sing it, but I do have a song in mind. But that's my plan for the next month, okay? I will talk to you guys, get it. I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for coming along this journey with me. I appreciate you, bye.